Hi, I'm Mike Auerbach, Editor-in-Chief of Pharmaceutical Outsourcing Magazine here at the AAPS show. I'm in the uh, Quotient Sciences booth and I'm talking with Mark Egerton. He is the company's uh, CEO. Mark, thanks so much for uh, joining me today and uh, spending some time. Uh, can you please tell me about Quotient Sciences and the services that the company provides to its clients? Sure. So we're a drug development services business. Mm -hmm. um, we're based in the United States and the UK, about 700 people, six operating sites. We serve a global customer base of about 150 pharmaceutical and biotech organizations. Mm -hmm. And what makes us different is that we're integrating services that are typically found in disparate contract development and manufacturing organizations and contract research organizations. And the way that we integrate those allows us to deliver really differentiated services to our client base. Mm -hmm. Mark, tell us how Quotient is innovating drug development. Well, it's really down to all this theme about integration, Mike. What we do is, we integrate these disparate services and we've developed an approach that we call translational pharmaceutics. Translational pharmaceutics integrates formulation development, real-time adaptive GMP manufacturing and clinical testing. And what that means is that the manufacturing process can be tuned to the, to the specific needs of the clinical trial. And that's really proven over the last eight years to allow us to deliver significant time savings to our clients and cost savings. And it's really helped them, uh, helped our customers to accelerate the delivery of their new medicines. Mark, can you share some examples? What kind of applications are there for translational pharmaceutics? There are two main touch points in the drug development process where we apply translational pharmaceutics. The first is in the very beginning of clinical development where one of our customers will be taking a molecule into the clinic for the first time, the so-called first in human phase, through to proof of concept in patients. And the second is where a customer has been into the proof of concept phase and seen a positive signal and they want to optimize a formulation for late stage development and uh, commercialization. And I guess over the last eight years or nine years we've worked on approaching a thousand molecules across those phases and across all therapeutic areas and so we're really confident that our approach is scalable and sustainable for most molecules, most small molecules that are in the development process. Mark, what services or qualities or capabilities does Quotient have that sets it apart from others in the industry? Well Mike, it, it, it's really down to translational pharmaceutics. What we've demonstrated over many, many case studies is that translational pharmaceutics can accelerate drug development timelines by at least six months, sometimes many months more than that. Mm -hmm. um, and it can really save significant costs associated with the development plan. And what we've been able to do um, over the course of the last several years is, is integrate into our translational pharmaceutics approach the ability to work with poorly soluble molecules and highly potent molecules. So if you look at the industry's small molecule pipeline, We've got the capability to handle 60 to 70 percent of those molecules and deliver a really differentiated service to our clients. So tell us about some of your recent acquisitions and how they can help your current and future clients. Well 2017 has been a really big year for us. We've been very busy on the acquisition front. Um, in February of this year we acquired two businesses in the US. Uh, a business in Florida called Seaview Research. That's a phase one clinical pharmacology business. It has a site in Miami and a site in Jacksonville, each with a 160 bed clinical pharmacology unit. Um, and then we also acquired a business in Philadelphia called QS Pharma, which is a contract development and manufacturing organization. They're able to, in Philadelphia, we're able to progress uh, to help our customers in the early stages of formulation development for first in human trials, right through to commercialization of product, commercialization, uh, commercial manufacture. And the reason why we did those two acquisitions was to build the footprint in the United States to replicate translational pharmaceutics, but also to provide this continuity of product scale up to commercial scale uh, for our clients so we can provide seamless service. Just today we've announced a third acquisition of a business called Farm Materials based in the United Kingdom. And what Farm Materials brings to us is extra scale in the UK, but also brings now some new capabilities around pre-formulation that will allow us to interact with our customers' projects even earlier in development. So Mark, moving forward, what's the future for Caution Sciences? Well, what's, what really drives us, Mike, is our passion to help our customers deliver and accelerate the delivery of their medicines to patients globally. We're really focused on delivering one business and one customer experience. We want customers to feel really confident working with us at all of the sites within our, uh, within our business. Mm -hmm. We're really committed to building our innovative uh, platform and really driving that into the industry. And one day, 
we believe that the industry will look at our translational pharmaceuticals approach as the standard way of doing drug development. Well, Mark, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate answering all my questions. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, Mike, and thanks for your interest in quotient sciences. And if you have any more questions or want more information on our business, please visit quotientsciences.com.